So this is going to be a rundown of how to set up the inside of the camper. Now that you got the outside taken care of. So we'll go in to the inside. This is how it's going to look without anything going around or just you can put all your stuff in here, whatever. But um, when you get ready, this is what we'll do is uh, these come up right here. To the side. Get the bugs in here, so I'm gonna close the door. And we'll turn on the air conditioner. You got a low fan, high fan, low cool, high cool. You know what? You probably won't hear me if I keep that on, so I'll keep that off and I'll just sweat. So, anyways, you lift that up, lift the table up. Pretty heavy duty. Put these guys in. Boom, boom, boom. And just line them up underneath. That's it. That's all it takes. Lift up your blinds. Open this window. I'm gonna do stop the I'm gonna open this window too. Stop me. Now I didn't I showed it in a little bit in the other video, but if you didn't watch it, all of your controls are right here. This on-off switch works the outdoor light. This on-off switch works the indoor lights. Right here is your awning for your in and out. When you want it to come in, it's in, go out, it's out. Your, hot, your electric water heater, that's the one you'll probably use most often. If you're not hooked up to electricity, you can turn on the propane tanks outside and then flip on your your uh, LP gas water, heat, water heater. Um, the water pump you do not need to turn on. The only time you use the water pump is when you are not hooked up to city water and you just hook water up into the camper. Um, so you hit these buttons, it shows the battery's full, the fresh tank is empty, the black tank it says it's a third full, it's, it's empty. The gray tank says it's empty. So sometimes the sensors are a little off, just take them as a guide. And, and, and base it off that the sen sensors are just not something you can really go off of you can go off them a little bit but other than that um, that's that uh, lights one you just each each set of lights has a little switch so you got your radio set up your radio it's got an a B and C speaker I'm pretty sure a and B are for indoor and the C speaker is for the outdoor so you can have them all plane or just one plane doesn't matter. You put your DVD, if you got any DVDs, throw a DVD in there. It'll work from the TV. And you can swing the TV back and forth. Make sure when you leave though that you just have the TV locked in this lock spot. And I have the remote control right here. Um, no matter where you go, you'll probably have to redo the antenna uh, to get your channels there. We got your refrigerator. Um, on or off uh, I want it on and then you got your mode the auto mode will determine if it's um, on electric or if it's on gas what I like to do is throw the gas on before my trip and turn the fridge on throw my stuff in there get the fridge cold as I'm driving to wherever and that way I don't have to worry about it getting cold when I get there it'll already be cold and then uh, you can set your temperature by uh, just hitting the temp set button. Nine is the coldest, one is cold, one is not so cold. I'll open the fridge. You got uh, your fridge and you got your freezer. Nothing special about it. Don't take a whiff when the fridge is off. It doesn't smell good sometimes. Uh, I'll go into the bathroom real quick. This table. 
This is the table I use for outdoor. I just bring it outside. Anyways, here's the bathroom. You can go in there. We got your toilet. <laughs> Don't drop the phone. <laughs> you got your sink. And you got your shower. So your shower runs off hot, cold. You flip this up, it goes up to the shower head. Close that. Your lights in here and the fan are right here. There's the fan We're up top. And there's your light. Uh, if you ever trip anything, you got your GFI right here to operate the toilet. I don't know if you've ever operated one. Pretty much, uh, you got that. You got your lid. But all you do is you press down on the on the lever, and you, it goes down just like that. Now, if you are going number two. You just lift, push the lever down a little bit, and it'll fill up with water, and then um, then you flush it when you're done. So. If anything ever goes out on you, the electric goes out, you lose something, you do have your breaker box right here. Oh. I haven't opened this thing up in forever, so I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to opening it. <sighs> oh, you just push it. There you go. You got your breakers. Tell you where everything is. You got your fuses. And then, boom. You gotta clean that a little bit. Anyways, um, another thing, your antenna is right here, it tells you up or down, you need to go up with it, Let's bring it all the way up or bring it down. Make sure you do not forget to put it down when you leave, otherwise you're going to knock it right off. It's very important. Um, before I said low fan, air conditioner, microwave, stove. Well, if you use the stove, I've only used it once and it didn't work out for me. I tried cooking a pizza and it just didn't work. But you have to actually light the burner. You turn it on and you light it with an actual lighter. But, uh, these ones will light out automatically. Yeah. And then uh, just setting up the bed. So all the beds set up the same. But since I already have this one popped out outside, I will show you how to set up on this one. Alright, these are just clips to hold the mattress up. Flip the clip, flip the clip. I'll take this down. This bar just flips up. Now these beds hold 1,100 pounds, so don't be afraid. We push that all the way back. And then, up here, I have this. Now this has an end here that goes right to the middle of that push it in locks in and then it's got two bars you want it to get this part in between these two so just push it in and locks it in then you take your mattress like so. Ooh, done. You got zippers to open these up if you want. These are towel racks or drying racks. Bring those down. You 
you got your shade for privacy. You kind of got to grab them right at the top and pull. We do have more storage underneath here. But you got some blankets and some things, like poker chips, some games. Take those shoes out. Uh, there's an electrical jack there. I'm pretty sure there's an electrical jack right here. There's an electrical jack on the other side. And there's an electrical jack right here by the sink. Here's the fire extinguisher in case anything major were to happen. Um, there's some storage underneath these cushions too. So. Other than that, that is the inside of the camper. There's nothing more to it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I will get back to you. I can text you. You can call me. Whatever. I want you to feel as comfortable as possible with this thing. So um, I hope you enjoy as much as we do. Thank you.